we are joined by Zimbabwe Coalition Crisis Chairperson Dewa Mavinga. Dewa, thank you so much for joining us. Now, thank for some so time much. now, we've heard Grace Mugabe level serious allegations against uh, Vice President Joyce Mujuru. So is this connected to the factionalism within ZANU-PF? Uh, it is. Uh, the statements by Grace Mugabe are uncalled for, are unwise, uh, but they are an indication of the factionalism that is there in way, where she has come out openly attacking the Vice President Joyce Mujuru in a way that gives the impression that her husband, uh, President Mugabe, is probably now aligned to a different faction possibly the Mnangagawa faction. So this is uh, not good news at all, and it brings uh, chaos into the country. Now, Grace has called on uh, Mujuru to resign or risk being fired. Uh, take us through the legal implications of that and the impact that will have on, uh, on, on ZANU-PF. Great statements they have absolutely no basis in law. She has no post in ZANU PF and she has no authority to be saying those things. But she wants to create an impression that she is speaking on behalf of her husband, President Mugabe. So, in terms of the law, uh, she is outside the framework of the ZANU PF structures. In fact, what has happened recently is that she was nominated to become the chairperson of the Women's League in ZANU PF, and this will only happen at the Congress in December. So, she has no official position as yet in ZANU-PF and therefore has no basis to be making such statements and in fact her uh, hate speech statements in the last few weeks have caused a lot of chaos within ZANU-PF. We are not saying that they are saints at all in ZANU-PF but her behavior is unmotherly, uncalled for and possibly childish. But then we haven't heard uh, uh, Mujuri's response on this. Why is the silence on her camp so deafening? Well, in a case where there is this um, vitriolic attack outright and persistent over days, I think it would be wise to ignore such outbursts and, uh, and have a proper response within the proper frameworks of ZANU-PF. Uh, this is why they have been plans to have a political meeting and also the Congress for ZANU-PF, which is the right platforms to respond to such um, actions. But I think uh, the more worrying silence is from President Mugabe, the husband, who should really uh, rein in his wife so that she does not make this outburst and create chaos in the party. And uh, speaking of uh, Mr. Mugabe, how is his, his health at the moment? Well, he has not been in the limelight recently, uh, except for a trip uh, last week to the Vatican. Um, uh, he is Catholic, and uh, so we do not really know. And the health of the president is a closely kept a secret. So there is speculation, but obviously, uh, being 90 this year, uh, it, 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 it advanced age, uh, one would understand that there will be challenges around health. Yeah. But no one really knows what's happening with the old man. Mr. Mavinga, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Thank you so much. Great pleasure. Well, that was uh, Dewa Mavinga, the Zimbabwe Coalition Crisis Chairperson, speaking to us in our Johannesburg studios.